welcome friends and I hope you enjoy this video of our fall 2021 hunts. What you're about to see is a behavior called rub urinating. The little white patchy part on the buck's hind leg is called a tarsal gland. They urinate on that tarsal gland, leaving a scent marking on the ground. And this behavior becomes more prominent in bucks during the breeding season. As we sat here and watched these deer, we heard some noise in the brush nearby and we thought it was either a bigger buck trying to scare that little buck off from that doe or another hunter. Within the first hour on the first day of our hunt and this guy shows up some funny behavior we've been seeing already this morning let's see what happens We sat and watched this buck feed for a little while and once he started moving off we were going to get ready to set up on him for a shot. Unfortunately my wife didn't have a great angle on this buck and she decided not to take the shot so I decided to move up a little closer. clean miss you guys nothing was hurt that day except my pride my rifle scope was off and shooting low and I had to do the walk of shame back to the truck the irony was there was a buck 50 yards to our right that took off after the first shot a few days later our elk season was about to begin so me and my wife jump in the truck and head to the new to us area public land we've never been there this is our first time ever elk hunting together, and we just were in it for the adventure.
Okay guys, here's Elk Camp 2021. We have our luxurious Airbnb, mobile Airbnb. This is new. They don't even have this on the market yet. Got sleeping bags, foam cush. And then we have our camp setup with our super top ramen in our jerky for tonight. We have our uh, bench seating and a beautiful view of the Salmon River Canyon with Alyssa freezing, but dressed to impress. And we have the water. Rippling by, but our plan is for the first day wake up and hike straight up over this this road eventually turns to a dirt road and there's tons of trucks all up and down along this thing and it seems like most of the elk are on that side but there's no way to get across this river unless you have a kayak and people have kayaks so that's it We did manage to spot a small herd of elk at the top end of this basin. Uh, the speed that they were grazing at and the speed we were hiking at, they outpaced us by a long shot. And we were starting to feel under the weather, so that unfortunately cut our hunt shorter than we expected. Probably the best part of the trip so far. Would you agree? Yeah. And we got the river in the background, but we don't have the view like we did last night. But the fire is a better trade. After a few days back home, I decided to go out solo and try to notch a tag on an elk. The next day I head to a new area to try to locate some elk. The weather went from low 40s to the 70s which made it feel way hotter 
so I was just trying to stick to the shade and try to find water sources to see if I can pick up some elk. With no luck finding elk in the fall season winding down for me, I thought I'd take a rifle hike and look for some bears. The look on my face says it all, you guys. I knew today was going to be a good day, and within the last hour of light, this buck feeds out right in front of us.